You know how every year there's that one phone everyone brings up the moment we start talking about cameras? Yeah, that's about to happen again. Because the Galaxy S26 Ultra is almost here. And like clockwork, it's already being crowned as the camera king months before anyone's even touched it. And to be fair, Samsung kind of earned that reputation. The Ultra line has been ridiculously consistent. But this year, things feel a little different. Rumors say the S26 Ultra might not be getting any wild new camera hardware, except for one sneaky upgrade that could change more than people think. A noticeably wider aperture on the main lens. Now, wider aperture sounds technical, but basically, it's free light. The S25 Ultra sits at f 1.7, and the S26 Ultra might drop to f 1.4. That doesn't look like a huge change on paper, but it's actually around 50% more light hitting the sensor. Not double, not some magical transformation, but enough to give you brighter low light shots, cleaner photos, lower noise, and faster shutter speeds. And that matters even more when you're working with tiny pixels like the 0.6 micrometer ones on Samsung's HP2 sensor. The wider aperture also gives you naturally stronger background blur, the kind you don't have to fake with software. Well, unless you want AI to turn your cat into a dramatic portrait model, that works too. Sometimes. But here's where things get spicy. While Samsung's sitting pretty with its modest but meaningful upgrade, Sony just rolled in with a completely new 200 megapixel monster, the LYT901. This thing is stacked, literally. It's a 1 slash 1.12 type sensor with 0.7 micrometer pixels and Sony's quad quad buyer trickery, where 16 tiny pixels merge into one big one for better low light performance. Then it uses AI to rebuild full detail when you zoom in. It can shoot 200 megapixel raw, 50 megapixel at high frame rates, and Sony claims up to four times clean crop zoom. Translation, this sensor is built to flex, Clean HDR, sharp detail, legit night performance, all wrapped in a sensor size that's inching dangerously close to proper compact cameras. And here's the twist. This Sony sensor won't arrive in a Samsung phone. Instead, we'll likely see it debut in the Oppo Find X9 Ultra or the Vivo X300 Ultra in early 2026. Which means Samsung gets to release the S26 Ultra first. But Oppo and Vivo might steal the headlines shortly after. Imagine that. Samsung drops its big flagship, and two months later, Sony shows up like, hey, here's a new sensor that might just be better. Suddenly, the conversation shifts. Not because Samsung is bad, but because everyone wants to see what this LYT901 can actually do. Meanwhile, Samsung's rumored upgrades are fairly conservative. A small bump to the 3X telephoto the same 50 megapixel ultra wide, 50 megapixel 5X periscope, 12 megapixel selfie, and the same 200 megapixel HP2 main sensor, just paired with that wider f1.4 aperture. Still powerful, still reliable, still ultra, but maybe not disruptive. That's why the Sony sensor is the one tech nerds are whispering about. If it delivers the detail, low light performance, and zoom quality Sony promises, it might become the new gold standard for phone cameras in 2026. And that puts real pressure on Samsung, Apple, Xiaomi, everyone. Because at the end of the day, megapixels don't matter unless the results look good in real world shooting. Textures, skin tones, night scenes, fast motion, that's what separates a good camera from a wow camera. And the LYT901 might just be the one to watch. So I'm curious, what do you think? Is Samsung playing it too safe this year, or will the wider aperture actually make a bigger difference than everyone expects? Drop your thoughts below, and as always, thanks for hanging out. I'll catch you in the next one.